Hello, my beautiful Capricorns, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and of course, Cross Watchers. Welcome to your April 2022 General Love Tarot reading. I hope everyone is doing well. Just a quick reminder that this is a general reading, so it may or may not resonate. Take what does and leave the rest. If you'd like to follow me over to the extended reading after this, the link for that will be in the description box below. If this doesn't resonate, please don't try to force it. Instead, check out the readings for your other signs or the person that's on your mind. Also, please feel free to swap the roles. I could be talking about you or your person because I am simply reading energies. So enough of me talking, Capricorns. Let's just get the cards out. So first, we are going to get started by pulling some oracle cards just to grab the overall theme and energy for you for the month of April, and then we are going to dive deep with tarot. If this reading happens to resonate for you, please let me know in the comments below. I do read all my comments and would love to hear how this storyline is just resonating for my Capricorn Collective. So let's draw a few cards here and see what is going on. For my Capricorns, everything has been pre-shuffled. Passion, Capricorn. Reciprocity. Okay. Boundaries. Forgiveness. Okay. This is a very interesting energy. So there was definitely a connection here that had a lot of passion. Unfinished business at the bottom of the deck, Capricorn. So there may be some unfinished business between you and this person, but whoever this person is, there's a lot of passion. At one point, there may have been reciprocity, possibly getting to know each other. And then this person may have, oh my goodness, so many cards just flew out. So the two cards that did flip over, <laughs> sexual compatibility and player. So you might be thinking this person is a player because this is from your perspective here. So you may be wondering if this person is just playing the field, okay? Because what I'm sensing is things started off really strong here, very passionate. There was that reciprocity. And then someone may have just put up some boundaries. And what I am sensing here is that despite this incredible connection, it just wasn't going farther because of these boundaries. And it may have really confused you here, Capricorn. Two more, please. On the same page... An X involved. Interesting. All right, Capricorn. Sorry about that. I just wanted to fix the camera very quickly. I am getting this very passionate connection, Capricorn. Two people who have incredible chemistry and physical connection. And I'm sensing there was definitely reciprocity, at least in the beginning. And then someone may have put uh, some boundaries or walls up. And you may have returned that energy by putting up boundaries, but I'm sensing that you may have felt a bit confused because things really took off in the beginning, okay? And I'm sensing that for some of you, uh, when you first started to talk with this person or date this person, you both could have been talking to or dating other people as well. Uh, for some of you, this connection may have started off very casual or as friends, or this person wasn't very clear about what they were looking for. And I'm sensing that for many of you, you may have been dating several people casually at first, but then it may have felt like this person just kind of stuck, like you really liked them. Okay, um, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, I'm, I'm just getting so many messages right now, but for some of you, it may have been open information that someone in this connection was either still involved with an ex or still getting over them, or this could just generally talk about some sort of third party person, place, thing, concept, idea, okay? It doesn't need to be romantic. 
uh, this is a general reading. For others of you, maybe you did not know about this at first, but you put your guard up because something felt a bit off. Something didn't feel right, especially if you felt this person, you know, pull away or build up some walls. And what I am getting, though, is that at this time you would know if there is some sort of third party energy that is involved. But with this forgiveness card. I'm sensing that someone may be wanting to reconcile or ask for your forgiveness or vice versa regarding this third party situation or uh, this involvement with this third party. So this is very, very interesting. So what I would like to do here, Capricorn, is get the tarot out so that we can dive deep into this and see what's going on. So Capricorn, I'm going to go over what I see so far and then we are going to clarify and what I call take apart the spread. Uh, so we're going to take apart the cards and that's what I call it when I do this particular spread. So in the past, there is this energy of acknowledging that a situation was stagnant and feeling stuck with the a seven of cups in the reverse, the chariot in the reverse, and six of cups, okay? I'm sensing that regarding this connection, as you got more and more involved with someone, you started to see that despite this fun, light, a soulmate energy that felt incredibly passionate, there was a lack of clear direction where it was headed. Now, for some of you, it could have been you who was stuck on an X, okay? For some of you, it could have been this person who may have been a bit stuck in the past. I'm sensing that currently you may or may not be in communication with this person, or at the very least, there is the sense of an emotional disconnect with the three of wands in the reverse, the two of cups in the reverse, and death. This person may have ghosted you or vice versa or just somehow pulled away. But there was some sort of ending or what felt like an ending in this connection. And with the challenge here being the Ace of Wands, this is telling me that there is this potential to create something beautiful and to really have your happily ever after, especially with the Ten of Pentacles showing up. So what do you want to create here, Capricorn? In the near future, there's a lot of positive energy, and I'm loving this. There's a lot of positive energy and happiness that is surrounding you. Uh, we have the Sun, Queen of Pentacles in the reverse, and Ten of Pentacles, uh, Leo energy with the Sun. Okay, you may be very focused on work and career as well as other long-term meaningful investments. For some of you, you may be creating this ton of pentacles with a new person that may be coming into your life, or you may be doing this independently and taking this queen of wands reverse energy inward, but with the knight of pentacles in the reverse at the bottom of the deck, as we saw, with what you don't know, uh, what may be coming towards you, it may be this person from the past who could possibly be coming in and asking for forgiveness. And this Ace of Wands is asking where you want to direct your creative energy. What do you want to manifest? What do you want to create? And the reason why I'm getting this regarding this, especially if you're dealing with an earth sign or someone who has earth placements or... Even someone who has taken a while to come forward because the Knight of Pentacles in the reverse is extremely slow. But we did pull this forgiveness card here. Okay. So we're going to see what comes out once we get into clarifying. So let me get the table ready and then we'll get into everything one by one. All right, Capricorns, let's get into this. So 
First, I want to start off by clarifying the Seven of Cups in the reverse. Please tell me more about this for my Capricorns. The Tower. So yeah, there was some sort of upheaval moment. Okay, the Chariot in the reverse, yes. Page of Cups in the reverse. Tell me more about this tower, please. Four of Cups, as I said. So something happened here, because let's take a look at this. Seven of Cups in the reverse, the tower, four of Cups. Okay, something happened here. There was a tower moment. Uh, some sort of experience or realization allowed you possibly to see why someone wasn't moving forward or there was some sort of a aha moment something that may have come to you to that allowed you to see through particular areas of confusion within okay so this realization may have made you realize why someone wasn't moving forward or possibly this made you not want to move forward. But because there is this tower showing up, I'm sensing that it's you who may have experienced something coming to light around someone's stuck energy and why they may have been hesitant to move forward and acting even a bit childish. Okay? And you may be, you may have been reflecting on the past and kind of like piecing things together with certain things that started to come to mind. Okay, because at first you may have just been going with the flow and then over time as you got more involved with this person, things started to make more sense. That the energy was a bit stuck. And you may have thought a lot about this. This may have been on your mind. Because I do feel like you had genuine deep feelings for this person and this person did stand out to you as an individual. Okay? You could be dealing with someone who's younger than you or at the very least this person is not very connected to their emotions. They may be a bit emotionally immature. If this is related to a third party, uh, it may be a water sign. Maybe the person that you are dealing with is a water sign. For some of you, this third party might not even be romantic. For some of you, it could be someone's child or children. That's just for some of you. Um, but with the Page of Cups in the reverse, this could, the physical attributes of this person, uh, they could have blonde hair, blue or grayish eyes, and their skin complexion usually runs from pale to olive just to throw that out there. So this could be some of the characteristics of this person, whether that's the third party or the person that you were dealing with, okay? But that, again, is not necessary. They could also have a medium height. But again, if it's not that, then things just kind of came to light as to why this person was acting in a particular way, okay? That underneath it all may have stemmed from this person's emotional immaturity. So I want to dig a bit deeper here into the present, but I'm sensing that after whatever happened here, someone was no longer accepting the cup and something ended. Okay, I do feel like communication did stop after this moment. For some of you, you may have just decided, I just, I don't want to take this cup anymore. I'm done. Ten of Wands in the reverse. Two of, uh, sorry, hanging the man in the reverse. Sorry, two of Cups in the reverse, clarified by the hanged man, Pisces energy. Tell me more about that, please. Five of Cups. Tell me more about this. Ooh, okay. Tell me more about the hanged man. 
magician. So yeah, what I'm getting here, I don't feel like you are currently in communication with this person. We do have the five of wands at the bottom of the deck. So there could definitely be still residual tension or the sense of conflict for some of you. But whatever this is, you feel like you need to put it down. You may be feeling like this is a bit of a waste of time or that it's weighing heavily on you. You felt like you put in a lot of effort here and you just were not seeing that given back. You were not seeing the fruits of your labor, okay? And it started to feel very heavy and you felt like you needed to set this down is what I'm getting. Although it may have felt as though it was a bit difficult to do so. And with the two of cups in the reverse, the hanged man and the magician, there is this disconnect here. And I'm sensing that you are looking at what it is that you want to manifest. You're looking at this situation from different perspectives and you are open to new opportunities. You are receptive to what may come in. And deep down, you may be waiting just for some of you. You just may be open to anything that comes in, anything new, anything beautiful, anything that's meant for you. For some of you, you may be waiting on this person. It could be an Aries, a Virgo, a Gemini, or Pisces. They could have that in their chart. Tell me more about this. Oops. Okay, so this wanted to pop out. So yeah, there may have been some sort of acknowledgement regarding a third party situation. Um, Capricorn, I feel that for some of you, you may be feeling as though it is really difficult to move on. Like you want to heal from this, but at the same time, you still may have a bit of hope here that this may not be the end. So you may be open for new opportunities to come in. However, you do have that a little bit of hope in the back of, you know, your heart, in the back of your mind that you still may hear from this person again. Now, there was some sort of ending here that did make you feel sad and you're ready to heal from that. And um, you're ready to, to move forward with your life with or without this person. And Capricorn, what I'm sensing is that you know at this point in time, it's a waste of time to put your energy into this person or wait on them. You may be waiting, like I said, for them to possibly come back in and show up in a different way with different energy. And it's difficult to let go, but you are ready to heal. You are ready to heal. Okay, you're ready to transform. You are ready to put this situation behind if necessary. For some of you, you may not have all of the answers, so that may be difficult uh, regarding, sorry, regarding why it may be difficult for you to move on, but you may have enough information here because you definitely know that if this person were to come back in, and it depends on what it is exactly that happened here, um you know that adjustments would be required. But this person simply was not showing up in a way that allowed this connection to carry forward. Tell me more about this magician, please. Yeah, what is going to make you happy here? There's this disconnect and you are... I think that at this moment in time, you are looking at the situation from different angles. You are looking at your life, <clears throat> excuse me, from different angles and perspectives and really trying to figure out where you want to direct your energy, where your emotional fulfillment is. But you, whatever that emotional fulfillment is, that is what you are looking at or possibly waiting for on. You may be manifesting something and waiting for something to come in while actively doing the work. 
or you may simply be waiting for something where you have already put in the work. Okay, but you you are wanting whatever this emotional happiness is. That's where your focus is on. That is what you are wanting to come in. Okay, so tell me more about the sun, please. For the near future for my Capricorn. Knight of Wands in the reverse. Oops, tell me more. Three of Cups, okay. Temperance in the reverse. The world in the reverse, okay. Ooh. There, this is showing up right here. Ooh. I'm going to draw one more pile over here. Show me Capricorn's person, please. Eight of Wands. Page of Wands in the reverse, Two of Swords in the reverse. The lovers in there. They're feeling this disconnect. Yeah. So what I feel, I feel like you are doing you. You're very much focused on yourself. Okay. You may be going out with friends, spending time with friends, getting to know new people. There could be a new person coming in your life that is a fire sign, but you may just be living in the moment and doing you. But whatever this is, there is this beautiful sense of optimism around you. Uh, you may even have some friends at work or that you just know uh, through your community that are really helping you a build additional stability and security within your life, but you're feeling good here. You are in this very independent uh, mindset, mind state. But I do want to know more. Just this. Okay. You're focused on you. Okay. You are really taking this energy of what you, you know, you're trying to figure out at this period, at this point in time, what makes you happy, want, what you want to manifest. For some of you, you may be waiting for this person to come in just for some of you, but until then, it looks like you're going to be doing really, really good for yourself. And in order to balance out um, some internal energies that may feel some ups and downs, you're going to be really focused on taking care of yourself and taking this Queen of Pentacles energy inward, okay? So you are just doing you at this time and focusing on you. Yes. And don't think too much here, Capricorn, because... You have a lot going for you. Capricorn, I see that you're getting out of this stagnant energy and you're starting to feel good again. Okay. But the key here is balance and to do your best to ground yourself. Be cautious of not overworking yourself or overdoing anything in any area of your life. That's very important in the upcoming energy uh, because I do sense that you... For some of you, you may just like tunnel in on work or projects or uh, things of that nature. But I do feel like you are going to be expanding your horizons, seeing friends more, enjoying a lot of, of positive connections and time with others. Okay. But overall, ensure that you are approaching things in a grounded way. 
because everything is coming together. There's no need to rush. I do feel that for some of you, if you are feeling in a bit of a rut, you, you may be feeling very anxious about it, feeling like you just need to get out of it, need to get out of it, need to get out of it as soon as possible. But there is really a need to honor your healing process. That is critical. And please remember that healing is not linear, okay? You may have your good days, your bad days, your good hours, your bad hours. It can be a bit of, you know, an up and down process at first. But as time goes on, it will get better and better and better. But it's important to not suppress, okay? Do not suppress any sort of feelings that come up. Don't try to bury them. Instead, welcome them. Realize that you're fragile and vulnerable, but you are not helpless or hopeless. Welcome those feelings, nurture them, honor them, because through that you will become braver, more aware, more balanced, and even more ready for what's to come because there is always so much more to come, Capricorn. You don't even know all of the incredible things that lie ahead for you. You can't even imagine it. I feel that, Capricorn, if this situation was left open. This is especially, you know, with the world in the reverse here, this is where that anxious, anxiousness may be stemming from. It's time to center back to yourself and tend to your heart. There are all sorts of things that you can do to help promote this balance by, for example, connecting with dependable people in your social circle, Meditation, yoga, journaling, trying something new, uh, salt baths, cleansing your space, nourishing your body, breathing exercises, the list goes on and on, or possibly even doing something creative, okay? Also, I just got to put it out there, don't be afraid to connect with a professional if you feel that your mental health is being impacted to a, you know, a particular point. Don't be afraid to seek help, just got to put that out there. But overall, Capricorn, this situation, it's going to resolve in time. At the moment, your person is definitely feeling the disconnect that happened between you two, especially what is related to this tower moment or possibly this quick exit that may have happened, okay? The two of swords in the reverse with the page of wands in the reverse tells me that your person is facing some sort of difficult decision and they're not entirely sure which direction to take. So although this person may want to take some sort of action represented by the Eight of Wands, they're feeling a bit stuck and they're unable to. This person may have ghosted or kind of ran away quickly because of this tough decision. You know, they, they know they needed to do something and it's like they, it's this, this energy of escapism, like just get away, I'm not sure what to do, I'm just going to run away. And there's just some sort of tough choice that needs to be made, and it has significant consequences. This may have already happened, but there's still something that this person feels. There's some sort of decision here. Okay, it may have to do about communication with this Eight of Wands or coming towards you, but some sort of action. And the combination of these cards, it's really signaling to me that it's not a time for this person, or rather I should say, this person needs to find clarity of their own values and make a decision based on that. This person needs to sit down with themselves and really do some introspection, some inner work here, okay? They need to figure out out a lot about themselves, do some soul searching, and make a decision based on their own values. Because I do feel like this person has some misaligned values, possibly a bit contradictory all over the place. This person needs to get clear on their values and make a decision based on that rather than trying to cut corners and possibly avoiding responsibility for their actions, okay? Because this person may have done that in the past, but there is, with this major arcana energy, there's this energy that this person is gaining clarity that this is something that they're not able to get away with uh, in a, some sort of situation or some sort of decision that they're facing because there, there are actual significant consequences. 
Okay. So I do feel that at this time, this person and they're, they're thinking about this. Okay. But the need is to really focus on yourself at this time, as I said. Focus on what it is that you want to create, what you want to manifest. Because there's a lot of incredible things coming towards you. I want to know more about this Ace of Wands. Please. The Moon. The Hierophant in the Reverse. Two of Pentacles. But yeah, so there is definitely the sense like, what do you want to manifest? Okay. With the moon, there may be some uncertainty. There, you may feel overwhelmed looking out into the horizon almost, and you're not really sure uh, what is ahead. You know, the unknown. There may be some uncertainty. And this may be about getting right with yourself, figuring out what it is that you want. You know, this may be about focusing on your values, your belief system, what you want to manifest, what you want to bring into your life. And balancing that, two of pentacles, bringing balance to certain aspects, certain decisions. How do you want to handle this situation? And it really is showing up that there is there's a lot about balance and acceptance as well. Because everything is going to be okay and you need to ask yourself, is this going to matter five years from now? Depending on how long you've been with this person, of course, but if this was just someone that came into your life very quickly and things got heated and things felt great, is this really going to matter five years from now, Capricorn? I don't think so. If things don't end up working out with this person, then I feel like you will be on to much better things. A lot. A lot of great things. And you're going to continue to build your uh, inner security and stability as well as your outer security and stability. I see that there may be a lot of good things going for you in your uh, career and uh, financial situation coming up for you, possibly even a promotion. That is what I'm really getting for you here, Capricorn. So... We are going to be taking this over to the extended. I do want to pull actually an advice card here for you before we go over there. We're going to be using the oops, okay, I literally just moved the entire table accidentally here. We are going to be using the believe in your own magic oracle deck. Love this. I'm going to pull a card. We're going to read it from the book. However, excuse my stomach if you heard that. I need to eat lunch. Um, I'm going to draw a card here. And I want you to take a moment. This is an interactive part of the reading. Uh, take a moment. Take a deep breath. You do not need to participate if you don't want to. But this is a message where you can also connect with spirit at this time to gain your own insight. Hard for my Capricorn's advice. Gold, you don't need someone else to fix you. What does this mean to you? Connect with the card, with the words, with the details, the imagery, the colors. At the bottom of the deck, we have confidence. It comes with time and patience. Very interesting. You may be doubting yourself here, Capricorn. So we're going to take a moment and read this from the book. It says, you don't need someone else to fix you. Someone is trying to convince you that you're broken beyond repair. Unless you accept their helping hand, of course. If someone offers to fix some part of you, 
It's not because they're being selfless or kind. They know that you're in a vulnerable place and they want to make you entirely dependent on them. Tell them, no thank you, you know exactly how to put the gold in your own cracks. So, this may have to do with someone around you, a friend, a family member, okay? You may be going through something, but you know what's good for you. You know what is good for you. Align with that, okay? And of course, always take what resonates throughout this reading. If something doesn't resonate, leave it for someone else. Just toss it away. That's very important to do to use your discernment throughout the, this reading as you would taking you know, advice or uh, information from anyone else, a friend, a family member. But for some of you, you may be a bit hard on yourself through whatever happened or because of whatever happened, feeling like there's something wrong with you. But there isn't Capricorn. There is nothing wrong with you. You are a beautiful soul inside and out. Unfortunately, on planet Earth, we all go through particular, you know, hurtful experiences. But these experiences are what shape us and allow us to learn and better ourselves and improve. Because without dark, there is no light. Without the bad, there is no good. And these experiences can help, you know, sharpen the blade in our toolbox of our integrity, our character. You can approach the situation as it can make you bitter or it can make you better. And I know that you are going to come out of this stronger Capricorn. There's no doubt about it, regardless of how this particular situation turns out. Because you have more going for you than you realize. And there's a lot of incredible positive energy coming your way. And you need to focus on that. Continue to stay in that high frequency, that high, you know, that powerful energy, high frequency energy, and you will continue to attract more positive experiences, people, and so forth into your life. So that is what I'm really getting for you, Capricorn. So we are going to be taking this over to the extended. In that extended, we are going to be exploring some guidance and advice uh, a bit deeper. We're going to be exploring um, this person's intentions, actions they may take towards you, what they may want to tell you. We're also going to be exploring what you may uh, know about this, sorry, what you may not know about this person or situation that you should know. And we're also going to explore the long term, the next three to six months, you know, what may be coming up in your life for you, whether it is with this person or without. Uh, we are also, like I said, some guidance and advice. Uh, I never leave you guys hanging, so if anything else comes up along the way, we will always dive deep into that. So yeah, if you want to join me over at the extended, the link for that is in the description box below. However, if not, then I hope you found this reading to be insightful. I hope that it resonated. If it did, please let me know in the description box below. Just a quick reminder, if you do want to join me over at the extended, once you hit that link, go through that process, all you need to do is hit back to merchant or return to merchant. It will take you directly to the reading. If for some reason it doesn't or you have any issues, no need to worry. Just check your email within 10 minutes and it may literally take up to 10 minutes you will receive a link from a third party called Send Owl, okay? And that link goes directly to the extended. It never expires. You can use that until the end of time, whether that's the first time or a year down the line, it never expires. So just wanted to quickly remind you of that. And then, of course, whether you are new here or a returning subscriber, I just want to say thank you so, so, so much for all of your support. It means more to me than you will ever know. So please like, share, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And uh, yeah, Capricorn, that is what I have for you for now. And I will see you next time. Bye.